This is my dream house. It is my dream house. It's mine. No, this is no longer Barbie's dream house. This shall henceforth be known as Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. Try it. Mojo Dojo Casa House. <laughs> you can be a lover or find a whatever you
Shot. One opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. One moment that you capture, you just let it slip. Yo. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how? Everybody's choking now. The clock's run out. Time's up, over, plow. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Choke, he's so mad, but he won't give up. He won't have it, he knows His whole back to these ropes It don't matter, he's dope He knows that, but he's pro He's so stagnant, he knows When he goes back to this mobile home That's when it's back to the lab again, yo This old rap city better go capture this moment And hope it don't do it Lose his mouth in the music The moment you own it You better never let it go You only get one shot Do not miss your chance to blow This opportunity comes once in a lifetime You better lose his mouth in the music The moment you own it All right, so a little bit out of order, but that was Group D. Uh, awesome set of teams for that. Before we go ahead and uh, talk about these teams, and we'll go back to Group C in a little bit as well, too. Let's go ahead and draw from our giveaways. First off, we got two awesome T-shirts for our friends at the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance was your keyword uh, for that, and the winner of that is going to be Jackie GG. Congratulations, Jackie. Uh, once again, if you do want to Jackie. That, yeah, GG's. Uh, make sure you go to uh, firstupdatesnow.com slash winner uh, to fill out the uh, winner form for that. And then we also have from our friends at 6424 who had that awesome video we'll be talking about in just a moment as well, too. Uh, the winner of that is going to be uh, Sup Dog Grain uh, Barf, something like that. Uh, I've seen it before, but congratulations to you. Sorry about butchering your name uh, on there as well. And thanks again to all these awesome uh, giveaways so far. These Dude, have that's been... a nice pullover. Like, I'm jealous. It is pretty sweet. I really like that. I love a good quarter zip because it's like I'm comfortable, I'm warm, I'm functional, and I've got a collar. So, like, I could be business casual. So, kudos to whoever, like, designed that on their team. It's yeah. an underrated skill and, like, job to overtake in a team. So, I kind of wish it was rigged for me to win that one. Bummed. Anyway, Tyler, why don't you talk about <laughs> that awesome group of teams that we just saw? 
Yeah, let's start out with uh, 1156 Under Control, team coming in from uh, Brazil. Uh, I, I had to text a couple of people. I'm like, I'm so happy a Brazil team came on. This is so cool. You know, they had the Brazil Regional last year that this team won uh, as well, too. So a lot of great stuff for that. They were also, uh, you might remember them, they were Impact finalists uh, at championships for uh, 2021 season as well, too. So a great team uh, coming in from Brazil. But this, this is just such a smooth team. The handoff of this I really, really like. Uh, awesome shooter, a lot of multi-functionality coming in with this, and I really love the overall uh, footage that this team took on this video as well, too. A lot of great action shots for as well. Uh, this team's going to Brazil and then Iowa, so enjoy your corn uh, as you come through into the uh, events as well, too. So, awesome team. Next up is Mojo. This team uh, won Archimedes Division uh, last year, so hopefully you remember them as well. They also won a district last year out of New England as well, too. Uh, this team really has their mojo going into 2024. you got to appreciate some of the creativity on the intro here and the uh, music that goes into this. Uh, I really appreciate just overall they have cool, some cool shooting options for the notes. Uh, I'm going to get a chance to see them week four. Uh, shout out to Ari, who's a uh, fun correspondent on uh, 8085 as well too and uh looking out for big things i know mojo has uh really got it going this year as well too and i can't wait to see what they bring uh for the crescendo season Next up, uh, we have uh, 321 Ross Rambotics coming out of Ohio. Uh, like the under-the-bumper intake this team is bringing, they had a finals award last season, and they compete next week in Pittsburgh. we got a lot of teams competing in Pittsburgh next week, uh, by the way, that's submitted for a premiere night, which is awesome. Uh, they can shoot into the amp also, so curious to see how that works uh, overall. And I really want to see if they can get maybe a one-hook climb. They got two on there, but we kind of saw that initial one-hook on there. So if they can do one, potential for a harmony, which would be really cool uh, for that team as well. So good luck to Ross Rambotics. Uh, last up for me before we go to Christine is going to be 2550 Wind Chill. Uh, only a couple shots that we saw that kind of were robot functionality. A lot of these were a little bit darker shots in there. So um, cool cinematography, but a little bit hard to make out on a couple of these as well. But uh, great, really great potential. Uh, this team competes week two at Great Northern and week six at 10K Lake. So they got some time. Uh, so they get things going. It will come up quick on there. But looking uh, forward to seeing what 2450 can bring. And uh, Christine, what do you got on your uh, second half here? So I'm kicking it off with Team 2183, the Tiger Bots. They're out of Boot, Louisiana. Um, and I really love this song. It really was reminiscent of, like, being in the shop, just, like, vibing, getting parts made. Um, I really like their slick handoff. Again, like, another just really clean, simple robot. Lots of space to continue to iterate throughout the season. But I love the over-the-bumper intake. It's pretty awesome. The drop-down gives, like, a really good oomph like as it's scoring and right as it's about to score. Um, the next team that I have is team 2554 Warhawks out of Edison, New Jersey. Um, I really like how they showcase their CAD in this like premiere night video because the amount of work and like grind that goes into making a really solid, like hundred percent clean, like CAD display of your robot or like rendition of it. It's a ton of time, and it definitely doesn't get, like, the time it deserves uh, with eyes on it. So kudos to them for showcasing that. Uh, my next team that I got is Team uh, 4829 Titanium Tigers out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. They have some really cool um, effects with, like, the slick floor and frosted background. We were just talking about this off air. We were like, I wonder how they did that or, like, what, what material that floor is or, like, the backdrop because it's definitely some great cinematography. Um Shout out to whoever figured that one out because it's a really cool clean effect. Um, and then rounding out this group, we had team 6424 Stealth Panther, the uh, Stealth Panther out of Knob Noster, Missouri, probably one of the best uh, town names I've said out loud in a while. Super low profile robot, watching them like zip underneath um, and throughout the field is really reminding me of like 2017 people ripping cycles around the field. I think they're going to have a huge advantage um, at their events being so like versatile and being able to really like zip around. Um, I really like how compact the robot is too. Um, that stage area really doesn't seem to be a problem for them. I really like how that little hood vent too, like, you know, pops up and they got one little hook to go and climb. I'm curious to see if they'll be able to get a trap score um, later in the season, but it looks like they're not going to be able to get bothered by defense and they're going to be, you know, throttling out some quick cycles. So looks good to them. Really like your pullovers. Team's probably going to look really cool in those all season. 